Thanks for the very nice words. Thank you all for being here this morning. It is a wonderful time, wonderful time for a press conference, isn't it? That turns out nice sound effects too, Gary. Well done. <laughs> there, 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 there's a reason that we picked 8 a.m. on a Sunday. I think it's the only two times. It's, it's the only time we can find that Scott and I are in the same place at the same time. Jamie and I are actually going to jump in the vehicle and head over to, to Denver to watch the Denver Broncos a little bit later uh, this afternoon. But it is a pleasure to be with you um, uh, under these circumstances, and I am honored uh, to be here and stand here with you uh, to join you in endorsing the next governor of the great state of Colorado, Scott McGinnis. About, I guess about five months ago when I announced in my own campaign that I was running to be governor, uh, I made a comment then that uh, uh, echoes in my mind now. I said, this is a, a, an unusual circumstance, a campaign, a primary uh, between neighbors and friends. And I said, we'll have a spirited debate, and at the end of that campaign, we'll still be neighbors and we'll still be friends. Now. Bear in mind that I had a different uh, outcome in mind. I, thought was, I, knew, I knew we would be at a place like this. I just assumed that it would be different signs. And yet, what, what has become evident uh, to all of us in the, in the wake of the overwhelming electoral victories in New Jersey and Virginia, what's become clear to me, what's become clear to Scott, what's become clear to so many people who have been working um, hour after hour behind the scenes in the last couple of weeks to bring a party together around a common governing vision is that Republicans have an unprecedented opportunity, truly unprecedented, maybe once in a generation, to retake ground, to retake the state of Colorado for our party, and more importantly, for the values that our party uh, stands for when we're, when we're at our best. On the night that I was elected to the State House of Representatives in 2004, uh, before the election results came in, the Republican Party in Colorado, we, we controlled the state. We had a Republican governor. We had two Republican United States senators. We had a Secretary of State and a Treasurer both Republicans. I see Matt Smith. Matt was leaving the General Assembly at that time. The ha State House of Representatives was controlled by Republicans, as was the Colorado State Senate. That night, everything changed. And over the succeeding three election cycles, the Republican Party sort of found its way into the wilderness. We essentially reversed fortunes. All the seats we held, all the opportunities that we had to govern and to lead, are now in the hands of the Democratic Party. And Scott, I think, think did an excellent job of describing exactly what that's got us. They are moving Colorado in the wrong direction, and today, today we're going to get it moving back on the right track. And, that, and that's why, uh, and obviously a little disappointed the race didn't work out, but that's why for me it was clearly the right decision to make, because this race is bigger than personalities, it's bigger than people, it's bigger than egos, and it's bigger than personal ambitions. This, this race matters. Whether Bill Ritter is the governor for four more years or not fundamentally matters. Colorado will be profoundly different if Bill Ritter is governor. He's taken us down the path to the state of Colorado, California. Scott wants to keep us uh, a great and strong and, and wonderful place to live and work and raise a family. That's why I'm so confident uh, and so uh, excited to be here with Scott and so enthusiastic to endorse him. The one other thing that I want to, a couple other points that I want to make that, that I think gives real excitement to me as we go forward, and, and, and Gary Harmon touched on this in his story this morning, is Scott's commitment to embrace a new generation of reform-minded conservatives, people who want to fix government, shake up the system, rather than just recycling all of the, all of the same. I think it's important for us to instill new energy and new values uh, in our party. The other thing that gives me excitement is Scott and I, we're going to start tomorrow, actually, after we have our press conference. We're going to go out and we're going to raise money. And we're going to work together to help Republican candidates in the State House and the State Senate. The reality is a tidal wave, a tidal wave is coming. And that tidal wave shouldn't just defeat Bill Ritter. It should help us regain control of the Colorado House and Colorado Senate. He's going to help me. That's where I'm going to spend a lot of my time. Actually, we'll be reaching we out to you as well. We could start today. Pull out your check, boys. we got to get this done. God, I've got those envelopes right here. <laughs> Senate House Fund. We're going to put the work on it. So, the, it, it, just sort of in closing, uh, thank you all for coming here. And many of you faces out there were supporters, financial supporters. You knocked on doors. You made phone calls on our behalf. Here's what I would ask of you. Uh, hear Scott out, give him a chance, and, and ultimately do what I'm doing here, and that's standing with him, and let's make him the next governor of this great state of ours. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, it, 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 when Josh sat down with me, he was so magnanimous, and the last thought on his mind was about his future. His thought was about your future, and I think it's clearly demonstrated here. And it takes a lot. It takes a lot to uh, did what he, you know, take a bullet for the team. Essentially, that's what he's done. 
but his days are coming. Yeah. And in the meantime, <laughs> our days leading you in this state, and we will go back to what we, that's right, we'll all be there. And by the way, I'll be there too. Lori will be there, our whole team. So, Lori and I, we're thrilled to have you over here, and you and Jamie have a safe trip today, and this means an awful lot. We're honored and privileged to have that endorsement. Thanks, Thanks again.